everyone, it's Sunny and welcome to the Wear It Society. So a few months ago, I posted a bookshelf tour on this channel. If you haven't seen it yet, you're missing out, go check it out with the link in the description below. I loved filming this video and I loved editing it and I just loved my bookshelves in general. However, that was at my parents' house in the south of France, which is much bigger than the space I am in now because I've moved to Paris for my studies and while it's really great to be living in such a beautiful city, uh, the downside is I had to get a much smaller, smaller pace because uh, she'd be expensive here. And because of that, I really had to downsize on my book collection. I think I took about maybe 12, 15 books with me, less than 20, definitely less than 20. That was a little bit of the downside, but on the bright side, uh, there was Christmas and my birthday in December. And also I happen to live in a city that has one of the best bookstores in the world which is Shakespeare & Co. I love that store, it is my comfort space and I go there to buy some books whenever I'm feeling down. Um, so uh, while some of the books you will see here are similar or the same as the ones in my previous bookshelf tour, there are some new additions to my bookshelves. One thing you need to know though is that until a couple days ago I did not even own bookshelves. My books were just living alone in a little pile in a corner of my bedroom. However, I am currently going through the process of reorganizing, redecorating, giving my studio apartment a little bit of a makeover. If you want to see the whole process, like the whole room, not just the bookshelves, you can see the link in the description to my personal channel because I will be posting um, the room makeover slash room tour on my channel there. But today we're just going to be focusing on the bookshelves and so since I was filming my room makeover anyway. I decided to film the whole process for this video from the moment I went to buy the bookshelves to the moment I organized them to the final like reveal and tour. So that's what this video is going to be today. So let's go for the first part which is the buying and building the bookshelves. because it would just fit better in my space except they didn't have the size that I wanted which is this I will put it on the screen right now so what I did instead is that I bought two uh, that were half the size of the one that I wanted so that when put together they're about the same width as the one that I wanted I'm hoping this will work out and I'm so excited to build this and start filling it with books so we're just gonna put on either some music or some episodes of a sitcom I've already watched like a thousand times and um, let's get it on. Thank you. 
have to rebuild, um, unbuild and rebuild the whole other one though. Um, but let's pretend like that's not true, let's just ignore that and just focus on the positive. So I'm done organizing my books. Um, I've switched them around until I was satisfied. So out of the six shelves, I filled four. Um, the bottom two will be used for storage, like I will be putting some boxes in there um, until I have more books and at that point I'll just um, make some changes. But for now, yep, uh, four cases is enough and the last ones will be for storage. And I'm just so satisfied and now I'll just add a little bit of decor on top of it. I will just be like adding a little bit of personality. Okay, so here is the final result. I am so happy with it. I am so satisfied and I don't know, it just looks good. Before I get to showing you the actual books on the bookshelves, I want to show you a little bit of like the decor. Um, so here we have a Vogue Paris poster from an exhibit. Here we have my plant, which is looking much better now than it did in the footage before because I've actually watered it since then. This is a candle holder that I thrifted. It's really nice. These are also stuff that I thrifted. I bought it an antique shop it's those things that are supposed to hold eggs um, but I am using them that way right now because they fit really well then here we have a little glass plate with my jewelry a candle that I got for Christmas useless magic by Florence Welch is such a gorgeous book and here we have a book about Basquiat because he's one of my favorite artists so these are yeah just kind of like artsy books um, that I wanted to put here because they're so pretty it would be sad to hide them away in the shelves and now we're finally getting onto the part you're all waiting for which is um, the part where I actually show you all the books that are in my bookshelf so let's go so so first we have my mostly rainbow bookshelves which have a little bit of non-fiction, my penguin modern classics and a lot of contemporary fiction, adult fiction. So let's dive into that. Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro, The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison, Susan Sontag's Reborn, The Early Diaries from 1947 to 1963, On Photography by Susan Sontag, The Black Unicorn by Audre Lorde, Sister Outsider by Audre Lorde, Damian by Herman Hesse, If Bill Street Could Talk by James Baldwin. I also own Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin in that very edition and it was supposed to be right after that but I'm currently lending it to a friend so keep that in mind um, it's supposed to be right next to this one on the shelf A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf An Apprenticeship or The Book of Pleasures by Clarice Lispector Letters to My Daughter by Maya Angelou The Farm by Joanne Ramos Open Water by Caleb Azuma Nelson All About Love by None Other Than The Phenomenal Bell Hooks which 
Fate to Her Soul We Lost Just a Couple Months Ago, Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zoner, Norwegian Wood by Murakami, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, Heads of the Colored People by Nafisa Thompson Spires, Breast and Eggs by Mieko Kawakami, and finally Death in Her Hands by Otessa Moshbeck. So for this shelf we have some classics and modern classics here, then we just have uh, two books that I didn't know where else to put but since they're in the neutral tones they seemed like they fit quite well here. And then we have Six of Crows which has nothing to do with the rest of my collection but since it is the only young adult book that I own here right now I didn't really have a place to put it. This one is also a color-coded type of organization and I'll show you the specific books. Atonement by Ian McEwan Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, The Color Purple by Alice Walker, The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, On Earth Who Are Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vong, A Little Life by Hanya Yanagiara, and Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. Then here we have my poetry stack over there, as well as some of my nonfiction books, and they include A Riel by Sylvia Plath, Night Sky with Exit Wands by Ocean Vong, The Coral Sea by Patti Smith, Blue Horses by Mary Oliver, Dreamwork also by Mary Oliver, The Black Unicorn by Audre Lorde, This Brick of a Book that are Louise Gluck's poems from 1962 to 2012, M Train by Patti Smith, I also own Just Kids by Patti Smith but I'm also lending it to a friend at the moment, Play As It Lays by Joanne Didion, the Year of Magical Thinking, also by Joan Didion. Your Silence Will Not Protect You by Audre Lorde. Then we have the selected work of Audre Lorde, which were edited by Roxane Gay, an author I love, and she also wrote the introduction. Then we have Hood Feminism by Mickey Kendall. And finally, for this shelf, we have Eloquent Rage by Brittany Cooper. The subtitle is A Black Feminist Discovers Her Superpower. So for this shelf, which by the way the light is hitting perfectly, we have the French editions of my books. Some of them were originally written in a different language and I just happened to own the French translation and some of them were written in French by French authors and in that case if a translation exists in English I will put it on the screen. So we have the French edition of Kim Ji Young, Born 1982 by Cho Nam Ju. Then we have Illusion Perdue by Balzac and I'm pretty sure the English title is just Lost Illusions, like the literal translation of that. Then we have a bilingual edition. <coughs> The bilingual edition of The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and I needed it, it was an assigned reading for my translation class. At this point, these are mostly my assigned readings for university, so we have Le Spleen de Paris by Baudelaire. Then we have Belle Ami by Maupassant, I'm pretty sure the title in English is also Belle Ami and it's one of my absolute favorite French classics, so if you haven't read it, fully recommend it. Then there is Nadja by André Breton. Once again, I think the title remains unchanged in English. Then we have Le Double by Dostoevsky. Uh, I think it's the double in English. And now we're done with the assigned school reading and we're going back to my personal reads. We have Moi Tituba Sorcière de Salem by Marie Scondé. Then we have volume one of Le Deuxième Sex by Simone de Beauvoir. The English title is The Second Sex. This is volume two of The Second Sex. And finally, we have this very, very tiny book about intersectionality and the French title is Pour l'intersectionnalité and the authors are Eleonore Lépinard and Sarah Mazos. For my French bookshelves, we also have Le Orla by Maupassant and L'étrange histoire de Peter Schlemiel by Albert von Chamiso. But I didn't film them on my bookshelves because they were in my backpack as I am currently reading them for uni, so um, that's why they were not on my bookshelves. And that's it, people, for my bookshelf tour. So that's it for the video. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to go on my channel to check out the full studio room makeover. Let me know if any of the books on my bookshelves ring a bell to you. Did you spot any of your favorite? Anything you want to read? Anything you want me to talk about when I read it? And don't forget to subscribe and follow our Instagram, all that, you know, self-promo stuff. I know it can be a little bit annoying for the viewers sometimes, but 
we're small creators, we're trying to grow, so if you enjoy our videos, please show us our support by doing all those things, checking all of our social media. And I cannot wait to talk to you in two weeks, but in the meantime, next week you'll have a video by Sumaya on this very channel. Bye!